Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Educational Code Forces round 147 and the problem is tear it apart. So let's quickly see what the problem states. So the problem states that uh, you are given a string is consisting of lowercase Latin letters. So let's assume that uh, the string is apple. What you have to do is you can remove any uh, non-consecutive characters from it. In one operation, you can remove any non-consecutive characters. So suppose you can remove A here and this P you can't remove, you can remove this P. L you can't remove since you removed P here, E you can remove. After you removed it, you can combine uh, all the leftover characters together. You have to keep on repeating this procedure until there is only all the letters in S is same. So in order to continue this, I'll remove L. P only is preserved in S. So all the characters in S, how many operations we do? This is one operation and this is one operation. So two operations we had, first operation, second operation. But the catch is not here. The catch is we have to produce the smallest number of operations required so that uh, the letters in S is same. So if we are trying for P, we got S, right? We can maintain for P, P also. So something like A, P, P, L, E. If we want all the characters in same, I can remove A, E, then I can remove L. So PP, this is also valid only. But what happens if we do something like A, P, P, L, E? I want to preserve A. All the characters in S should be A only means I'll remove P here, L here in one operation, then combine everything together, then remove E in one operation, then combine everything together, then remove P in one operation. So here, if you want only A as the same character in S, what you do is uh, you are having three operations but if you want to preserve pp or p you have only two operations so the best value is two here and uh, since they told smallest number of operations we need to report two so let's quickly see what they are telling here so if you are trying something like a b a c a b a uh, the best way is you remove second here uh, fourth here and sixth here everything will be a here so only one operation we took uh, so this one you can just uh, figure out once we are trying to derive the solution and if everything is o, o, o here we don't have to do anything because all the characters are same right so zero operations a b c d e f let's try to figure out where so let's quickly do it so we have a b c d e f so uh, let's randomly take the character c uh, what else can we do we can remove b here d here f here so now a c e s so within two operations we are able to get okay let's try for uh, one more uh, set like f we can take uh, let's try that let's try with d f i removed uh, then c i removed and a i removed uh, b and next b d e comes okay now we are getting approximately like two operations so two is the output but we just can't simply go ahead and see all the combinations right it may be the case that i can remove b here d here anywhere i can come so uh, what is the logic that we need to produce here? So questions like this, right? You don't know what is a character. Every character's frequency is just uh, one. So uh, one example would be, I can show you here. See, if I choose A here, uh, so we saw for Apple, right? If we choose A here, it is coming as three operations. But if we choose B here, two operations. We don't know which is the character. But in, in English alphabets, how many characters are there? We have only 26 characters. So the best thing that we can do is we will iterate in a for loop for all a to z characters and whichever character is giving minimum operation we will just print the result that's all so uh, if this is the problem this is the high level view uh, if there are much, each character is giving us a different result so we will iterate through all the characters these are only 26 it's like a constant number uh, so if you know about time complexity constant with any other uh, n or big of notation, constant is not taken into account. So uh, we iterate through all the a to z characters and uh, we'll find the minimum operation needed. Now uh, high level is done. Now let's go into a bit deeper. How are we gonna eliminate it? So for that, uh, let's say for an example, let's take a x a uh, b c d e f a Mm, something like Z Y A so in one operation what will you do uh, I say that uh, all the letters should be in S should all be A A A A anything can come all will be A so in one operation I have to remove all the other nonsense characters so I'll remove X here in one operation B here D here F here 
okay then what i can remove i can remove z also here in one operation i removed it okay so uh, one more time i can do this is already done i don't have to go here i can remove c here i can remove e here and i can remove e here so this path took two operations here this path took two operations here in one operation itself this path have completely gone so uh, in order to make all the a's equal uh, what did we understand from here is we just have to find the maximum interval between two a's suppose if a is there some characters are here and some characters are here and some characters are here if this takes uh, if the number of characters between this are like let's assume 30 characters let, not 30 characters so probably let's assume that on the worst case 25 characters here there are only two characters here is only one character if i'm having approximately again this is just an example if i'm having approximately four operations here do i need to consider this into account we don't need to right because this will be gone in one operation this will be gone in two operation the maximum i need is only four operation i can do it no problem but in order to preserve time complexity and conserve time i'll see i want to check for a and find the maximum number of characters between them okay so for example i tell that a is having maximum of 25 characters in between them but this is just a small string right what if it's a big string suppose b b is also here b is here and many b's are here many c's are here like that so since we are iterating from in a for loop from a to z i am telling that for a i have 25 characters here and for b i just have like 14 characters i need to remove between them uh, something like z will have only three characters that are removed between them i don't know so uh, in order to make all the characters same in s if it is a i need to remove 25 characters at least 25 characters might take like four to five operations or many operations this might take relatively less than a operations right z can take relatively much lesser than b operations right so out of this we'll choose only z right characters so out of that out of the maximum value we'll choose the minimum out of it so again i'll tell you what does 25 character mean 25 character means the distance between two a's and uh, i need in order to remove 25 characters i need to perform a certain number of operations so it takes x operations here and if uh, if i want to have only b in my array the longest distance between b is like 14 characters and i have y operations so can i say that the y operations are less than x operations that's so true right so i don't need to consider a into account b only i need to consider now since i got this what is the next thing i need to do out of the 14 characters how many operations do i need to cut uh, to remove all the 14 characters between them 14 i mean that suppose if this is the string um, it's something like this okay there are like 14 characters between them how many ca how many uh, uh, what how many operations are needed to remove this 14 characters so in one operation you can remove divided by two characters right 14 by two characters will be removed then 77 by two characters will be removed then three by two characters will be removed then two uh, one character will be removed so in four operations 14 characters will be removed at all so i hope you guys are able to understand so let's try to see the solution so that you will be able to get it so what did we do first we tried to iterate through a to z here then for each of the for each character what does it mean actually a to z means that in the item final array i need to have only the character a and if i iterate through all the elements from j to n that is all the size all the iterates in the s if the if it's not the character a if it's not the character i uh, i am just increasing the count what is the window size so if there is an a here and if there are a's what is the maximum window size what is the maximum number of characters between two a that's what this function does that is c greater than max maximum number of characters now um, why am I checking this if maximum less than many because B can have 14 characters, right? So I just take the um, If I choose B as my final output if I need only B I just need to have only 14 characters between B, right? So that's the minimum value that it is catching here now if minimum is 0 I just have to put 0 because uh, Already minimum equal to 0 means what already all the letters are same now 
uh, what does this mean if b had 14 characters how many operations do we need to perform in order to get uh, in order to remove those 14 characters so i do mini by 2 so each divided by 2 will be considered as one operation until and unless we get we are left with only single value so that will be c plus mini you can again one by two you can do then mini not equal to zero you can do it's up to your logic so we'll just quickly wind up like what all things we discussed here so if we have a really big string we won't be uh, so something like if we have a, a really big string here we don't know which character to choose uh, so that uh, at the final output which is the ideal character we don't know right uh, what is the character that will have the small operation smallest number of operations so what we do is we'll iterate through all a to z what does it mean if i want a i need to preserve only a in my final output then what is the cost comes with it what is the minimum number of operations i need to perform for a how do i know the minimum number of operations i just need to see the gap between these two what are the number of characters are there and uh, what are the number of characters between these what are the number of characters between these out of this uh, I mean B can also come here okay so if if I'm choosing B what is the maximum range I can get and I'll take those characters and find the number of operations so uh, max first what maximum window size then out of the maximum window size of each character I find the minimum uh, window size among all the characters then out of that I want to find the I am converting it to operations by dividing it by 2 2 2 2 like that so I know it's a bit tricky, but uh, one thing that you can do is take a code, uh, try to write examples and uh, try to figure out. I hope uh, you'll be able to get. So that's it, guys. I think I gave my best to explain it. So if you have any doubts, feel free to uh, share it in the comment section. I'll be glad to help you. Thank you.